Hello, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel. So, in my last video, I uh, said about the uh, wheels for the Mini D12, 116th D12, and you can go from the stock wheels to this. Now, I bought this setup right here on eBay. Now, I've seen them on Amazon as well, but the reviews on Amazon, it seems to be hard to get the right size. So, I ordered them from eBay. Um, the first time I ordered them, I ordered the uh, 1 18th scale, and they're just a little bit too big for this truck. If you look at this, I mean, they're, they're, they're too big. Um, this is a stock size and put them together. And I mean, it's doable, but they look, they just look way too big on the truck. So I went with the 124 scale, which is what's on this one now. But when you buy this pack, it's $14.99. And I even think it's free shipping. I can't remember, but pretty sure it's free shipping. But you get six different styles. Now, we have the one that's on the truck here. This style here. And then you have this style here. And this style here. And this. And this one. So you get those six styles. Now I also bought these. I bought these on Amazon. And they're pretty good too. Uh, the only thing is you can only get them in white, red, and orange. Now they work very well on it. But I was thinking about dyeing these ones black. I think they'd look pretty cool black. But they're slightly smaller than the 124 scale. Um, not by much, but a little bit, and but they still look good on the truck. So this is another option if if you were into white, red, or orange. Now these could be dyed any color you want, to be honest. So what I did was the hole in the center is smaller than what's on a WPL. So. I cut these off because the axle stem is a lot longer than uh, what's on the WPL uh, back of the wheel. See, it's pretty, it's pretty flush with the wheel. So what I did was, this one here is already cut. But what I did was, I took a, took a hacksaw because I was able to seem to keep it nice and straight and I just spun this as I drug it across and that kept it nice and flush and straight. I'm not going to cut this one but as you can see this is what I'm doing. I'm taking the hacksaw uh, just dragging it across the blade and spinning it as I go and it worked really well. I tried side cutters, I tried the Dremel and a few other different things and the, uh, the hacksaw works the best. It gets a nice Nice flush cut, and it just works the best that I've tried. But anyhow, after you do that, you need to get yourself a 119 thousandths drill bit. This one here is this one here is 100 and 119 thousand. Well, let me get a better. There you go, 119,000. And that's the perfect size to uh, ream these out to fit on the uh, axles on the WPL Mini 116th. Um, when you, I did this on the drill press. You can do it with your hand drill. Just try to keep it as straight as you can. It works better in a drill press. 
but this is also possible. I, I did pull off four of them to come out okay. But uh, all you want to do is you want to run that drill in there and you'll feel it stop. And that's where you want to stop. Pull it back out and they'll put right, push right on the axle, no problem. And you'll end up with this. No clearance issues. They fit fantastic. And gives the truck a really cool look, I think. These uh these WPLs, I don't know what it is about them. They're so cool. I, I don't know what it is about them. They're just so cool and customizable. This little truck here is just so much fun in the basement when it's outside, when it's raining, too cold. I I just run around the basement and just drift it and I just have a ball with it. But this is the pack that you'll you'll get on eBay and look for the 124th scale. And what they are, they're replacement wheels and tires for die cast cars. So we're going to open this one up. This is brand new because I the last pack I got, I, I ruined, I don't know, three or four wheels doing this project. So I wanted to get another set. So I had different, you know, different choices in the wheels and tires um, for this truck. But you get brake rotors and not, they'll fit on that, they'll, they'll fit on the truck. But the only problem you're going to have is they're just going to spin and rotate with the wheel. So, but it is possible to put on. And then you get your wheels. Here's your wheels. They all come wrapped up. So you get six sets of wheels. And then you get in the box here, you get all these tires. So there's your tires that go on the wheels. Now, on this truck right here, I didn't glue them or anything, and they stay on fantastic. You get just enough grip to rip around. And not enough grip, so you can do a little bit of drifting with it. Kind of cool. So, that's what I did. Uh, I think there's... I, I'd actually like to find a black set also. Um, I haven't come across any yet. It's been all chrome. But, I think they look pretty good on there. You know, you go from this... To this. Now, if you paint this truck a cool color and drop it down a little bit, it's really going to look sick. So, that's how I did it. If you have any questions or know of any other um, 124th die cast replacement wheels that are black or some, maybe some different styles, uh, let me know. I thought that was a pretty good deal for um, six sets of wheel and tires for $14.99. I mean, you can't beat that. So, I just wanted to say, as I said in my earlier videos, I got a lot coming here and a lot, a lot going on, a lot of projects. So, I'm just going to show you around the shop here real quick to uh, show you what I got going on. So, give me a second here to get the camera loose. And so, here we go. Over on this wall, we have all my um, smaller scale stuff. Everything's not up yet. I've been working on this shop here for the last couple months. Trying to get everything set up and organized so I can find things. This is where we're at. I have... A lot of stuff on the shelves over here. My new Chevy K10. Paint booth. Garage. A lot of work to do in that garage yet. 
Uh, we're gonna swing over here. Here's my shelving for all my one tent stuff, and a couple other larger things there. Things, some things are missing on different areas. Over here, I have a whole corner of kits to be yet to be built. Lots of projects going on there. Um, there's going to be a review video of this new MN82 Toyota. It's be coming up here shortly. There's also going to be another review coming up. Of this. I just picked this up yesterday. It came in the mail. Well, FedEx delivered it. But uh, it's the TWS CJ7. And I got a little secret here right now. Um, I'll set it down. And, uh, it come with this little sticker on the grill. Let's see that little sticker there on the grill. Okay, so I got to thinking, I wonder what's behind that. So I pulled it off, and look what we have here. So I got a little review coming up with this Jeep soon. Uh, we're going to have the uh, MN82 is coming up next for review. I already got a little bit of work done to it. And uh, that's about it for today. Uh, glad you all took the time to uh, watch this video. Uh, I got a lot of shit. Oh, shouldn't say that. I got a lot of stuff coming up. Anyhow, um, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Any questions about these wheels? Hey, let me know. I'll be glad to help you out. It's a really easy project and makes a huge difference on these little trucks. I really think it makes a huge difference. Um, so, yeah. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one.